Welcome back, everybody, to Tom Plays Pokemon White 2. I am his cousin, Weebleti. In the last episode... <laughs> in the last episode, we uh, made it to Silage Town. In this episode, we are going to be taking on the Silage Gym. What do you got to say for me, buddy? Hey, it's the future champ. What's going down? This is the Rock-type Pokemon Gym. We already figured that out, am I right? Rock-types are great, aren't they? We can get steel, water, and all kinds of things. Now, check out that wall. You can climb up those... If you start uh, from one of those blue spots, uh, left, right, up, down, you'll need to climb to every which way to reach the gym leader. Helly oop! Wibblety says, I got experience point power from Yu Chionza. I have no idea how to pronounce that name. Yu Chionza. Anyway, we're keeping our good buddy out first. I need to break. I need a break after all this climbing and training. I need to break your face, is what I thought I was going to say. Challenged by Rising Star... D oh god, I thought his name was Diddler. Because <laughs> he diddlies around. He is the Diddler! He is the Diddler, and I hold much respect for his diddle. Uh, this thing definitely knows rock moves, and rock moves are neutral against rock, but they're super effective against ice. So, um, maybe it was a bad idea to get Sebastian after all. <laughs> But, uh, because I've changed up my party so much in the past, I'm gonna keep Sebastian in my party. And hopefully I'll learn some good moves. I'm sure I'll be able to get Ice Beam, and Freeze Dry is a good move because it's good against Water types. He's Rock Blast. What do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? Trying to crush me under rocks. Trying to rock crush me. Under pressure. Push it down on me. Press it down on you. Alright then, if you wish to use the rock, then I shall use the roll. Raise a leaf, Ivy Saw! Okay, that did not work the way I planned it to. But he should just kept using Rock Blast. Raise a leaf! Check, 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 check. Using Rock Blast again. Hopefully this won't kill me. Let's see, six. Okay, yeah, unless it unless one of them does a critical, then the maximum of five would not kill me. Ivy saw me, I choose you! And Dwebble goes down. Dwebble! Craig gained a boost in 350 experience points. Craig wants to learn growth. Oh, uh, yeah, I think I'll forget a move for growth. I'll have to get rid of poison powder because I never use it. And I shall use the growth to my advantage. I shall grow in ways that no man has ever grown before. Quacklin grew to level 25. Quacklin, you're not here to learn sword dance. You're here to be my flying bitch. Using a Relicanth. This will be one of the shortest battles ever. Because Razor Leaf is gonna. Oh, he avoided it! Don't die. Do I have any potions? Oh, I picked up Soda Pop from that one beautiful girl. Uh, Soda Pop, 60 HP to heal it, a carbonated beverage, heals 60 HP, it does not refresh you though, it actually makes you thirstier. <laughs> Relicanth used Yawn. And I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna try Razor Leaf again. It's trying to Yawn me, so that didn't work. Oh god, I think it's strong. Okay, bag. Status restore. I'm sure I've got an awakening in here. Wake up, Craig! Craig! Wake up! Water Garden! Mm. 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 Thank you for the water. Mm. Delicious. Oh, thanks for the yawn. You're making me feel sleepy over here. Relicanth fainted. Do you see what I have become? Sebastian grew to level 22, Clarissa grew to level 18, and Clarissa wants to learn head, but Clarissa shall not learn the butting of the head. I defeated Rising Star Diddler. No pain, no gain. Alright, and up to the- thanks for wearing off experience power. Alright, I want to fight everybody. I'm going to be the very best. Unlike anybody else on this planet Earth. Okay, so scoot, 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 scoot. Oh, this is a way, this is just a way down. 
Is it? Wait, what's over here? That was a train. Oh, I took the long way, apparently. Um, also, I think I just took a shortcut that would have led me down. Challenged by a rising star, Manon. Manon. Manana. Malon? Go, Sebastian! Sebastian, I'm not gonna lie, you're probably gonna die. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send out Jacques, only because Soul Rock has the the powers of fire on its side. But it's gonna use rock throw, so never mind. So, what do you? What is that? What What are you throwing rocks for? Rock throw should be a uh, dark type move, cause who throws a rock, right? Am I right or am I right? Am I right or am I right? Mm, passerby Nicholas is challenging me to a battle, despite the fact that I have no combustion grew to level 30. Oh my god, like, I, I want to, I don't want to turn off the EXP share because it's good for raising my party, but at the same time, Combuskin is going to be, like, so far outside of everybody else's league into my party. Ah, the quantum conundrum. Oh no, I don't want to fight this thing, it's going to throw rocks at me. Send out Jack. Return, Sebastian. Go, Jack. Go, Jack. He's using hypnosis. You cannot hypnotize that which is unhypnotizable. Ha 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 ha. You have suffered it. Oh. Sleepy. Sleepy. Drowsy. Drowsy. Anyway, let's try and wake up here. Jock is fast asleep, which is a shame, because he is the... He's using Sea Wave. God, Jock, I can't wait for you to evolve so that won't affect you anymore. Okay, come on, round. Oh, Jock, you gotta wake up or you're gonna die. Come on, don't kill it. Okay, that did butt for damage. I think it has a random amount of damage per turn. Oh, come on! Wake up, Jock! Okay, he's throwing rocks. Jock, this is your last chance. Wake up! Yes! I really hope this kills it. Yeah. Okay, had a little bit of a scare there with Jock. But he's all good in the hood. Like he should. Alright, Sebastian grew to level 23. Of course, my team gains experience as well, and I defeated Rising Star Manon. This gym was waiting for a trainer in Pokemon like you! I gained 1,320 do Poke Dollars. Do I have an amulet coin? Let's see. So he's got the, I think, uh, let's see, item, move. Yeah, he's got the amulet coin. I'm gonna give it to Sebastian, because Sebastian's gonna be out front for the longest time. Alright, so. I'm gonna walk up the side of a mountain. I'm gonna walk down the other side of a mountain. I wanna fight that, uh, that uh, hiker, though. Maybe I could reach him on the other side of this. Come on. Eh, 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 eh. That's a different hiker, but I still want to fight him. Oh, thanks. You know, th thanks. I was going to talk to you and fight you anyway, but you and your f fluffy coat and your John Tron ass looking face. Rhyhorn. Mm, sending out Sabash. This thing's a ground type, so I have a chance against it. I'm going to use Aurora Beam on it, because uh, Rhyhorns generally have crap for special defense. And just as well, it's weak to ice because of its ground type. Sebastian gained some experience. Clarissa grew to, is growing into a fine young woman. Quacklin's grew to level 26. Bernard is sending out Nose Pass. I will keep battling until I realize that Nose Pass is just a rock type Pokemon and I need to switch out to Craig. Alright, so Sebastian, come back. Come out, Craig. Using th oh, I forgot that this thing could use Thunder Wave. Damn you and being a magnetized Pokemon, which gives you some how it gives you the ability to use electric type moves. Uh, you're not too paralyzed, Craig. Use uh, you could probably go for a uh, Raise Relief there. Yeah, like that. I wonder if uh, what is it? Uh, paralysis affects Gyro Ball. I know it affects uh, what is it? I know paralysis affects. I can't remember what the move is called. Uh, Electro Ball. Because uh, if you paralyze another Pokemon and use Electro Ball, it does a ton of damage. 
because uh, it's based on uh, the person using Electric Ball's speed being much higher than the person who is being used against. Gyro Ball is the opposite, so if you're paralyzed, would Gyro Ball do more damage? Show me in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. Subscribing really helps, as well as liking and commenting. Puts my stuff up there so that more people can see it. If you like me, you want me to keep making these videos, I need to get more views. Click my ads. That actually doesn't help me. I'm based on just monetized views in general. Sebastian, oh, oh, wow, yeah, that's right. Onyx is ridiculously fast for some reason. I forgot about that. Anyway, it's dead. Actually, no, go ahead and click my ads. I don't care one way or the other. Uh, let's see, let's jump, go up here and around and I didn't fight that other hiker so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna jump cut right now until I make it to the other guy I'm gonna jump cut all right buddy what do you got for me Oh, thanks. Th thanks for telling me I was disconnected from the internet. See, I try to stay online for this, but the way my room is set up, I'm like at the point where the internet can hardly reach me. So, like my computer, I've got to like move my uh, I gotta move my wireless adapter around to just to get it to get a signal sometimes. At any rate, let's switch out to the paralyzed Craig, because Craig is the second lowest person of the party that we're gonna be using in the end here. Go, Craig. He's using Smackdown. Which is good against flying type Pokemon because it actually brings them down to Earth. It brings them down to Earth. Use Smackdown again. Stop smacking me down. Don't flatten my flower. I'll flatten your face. How do you like that, raw again? Roll sturdy! My old foe. I'll use Razor Leaf again only because Takedown will hurt me. Mud Slap! I don't take crap. Ah, oh, damn it. This is gonna be one of those battles. It's gonna use Headbutt that does significant damage. Ah, oh, God! I have to switch out. Jock is too weak. Sebastian can't handle rock type moves. <sighs> you know what? Qua uh, no. Clarissa, it's your time to shine. You are my greatest Pokemon, as was stated in episode 21 of this, uh, of this series. Clarissa! Withstand the headbutt! Use your water gun! <laughs> Ow! Rock and Roller fainted due to Clarissa's awe-inspiring powers. Okay. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da
I'll finish it off with Bubble. With Michael Bubla. Take down again. It would seem I've been taken down. A peg or two. And the Mara goes down. Oh, I didn't. It's a uh, fin's change color. I didn't know that. Depending on how it's feeling. I'm guessing if you use it in Pokemon of me, then it'll be like, you know. Ah! And I will switch Pokemon. Back to Sebastian. Go, Sebastian. Ah, ah. Sends out Tyrant. Rare. That actually sounds like a Tyrant's cry. It reminds me of a cry from a from something in Pokemon Stadium. Because all the cries in there were different. Ugh, I gotta go back and listen to it, but I'm sure I've heard the cry similar to that before. Anyway, send it out, Craig. It's gonna use bite on me. Was giant gaping donkey claws. I mean, it's donkey mouth. I mean, it's mouth. Quickly use the razor leaf. Should be normally a. F oh my god. That did jack. That did jack butt. All right. I know I only use him as a last resort, but I'm kind of in a bind here. Go, Burntrum. What do you got? You're gonna use bite? It's not effective against me and my kung fu chicken prowess. You know it is effective against you though. The mighty double kick of the chicken. The chicken kick. Super effective hit two times. Opposing Tyrant faded. Kabuskin gained a bunch of experience. Craig and Sebastian gained experience, and I defeated Grant. You've proven to be a wall that I'm, I am unable to surmount. 8,000 Poké Dollars for winning. There are some things that seem out of reach no matter how hard you try. However, it's important that you never give up, no matter the opponents and the odds. I can tell from our battle that you and your Pokémon understand that. To commemorate such an impressive show of teamwork, please accept the Cliff Badge. Yeah, Ash. I, I wonder, like, you know, you remember in the first season of Pokémon when Ash would keep his, um... His badges inside of his coat? That thing would just, like, jab into him all the time because of how, like, bulky that thing is. I think I'll teach Rock Tomb to, uh, what's his nuts? Amora, Sebastian, whatever. I'm gonna head down the stairs. No, not those stairs. I'm gonna head outside before I end this off. Just so you know, I can get out of the gym. We've got a nice change in scenery. A nice refreshing change in scenery, mind you. Slide, slide. And out we go. So next time on Tom Plays Pokemon Y. Uh, I guess I'm gonna be continuing my way onward after te after having taught a uh, Bieberal strength. We can probably move along then. See you all next time.